My girlfriend of two years, who is 20, hits me regularly. And I'm a 22-year-old male. Are you? Are you really? I don't think you're a man. Man wouldn't stick around for that. Let, let me explain something to you guys. If you have any self-worth, somebody treats you badly, guess what you do? The first time it happens, so it doesn't happen again. You book it. I don't care how much you feel you love this person. I don't care how well you think they've treated you up until now. If they treat you poorly, you get the fuck out. Now, I'm not talking about an argument or an altercation that's verbal, uh, although there can be some instances where that's enough. It would depend on what they say. But no, I'm talking about physical violence. And to a large extent, also psychological abuse. If somebody were to say you something, you told them in confidence about you to try and hurt you, harm you emotionally, which women love to do, which is why as a man, you do not share things about you with your mate that they could use against you ever, because they will, because women use words to assault, to harm, and sometimes fists these days as well, because they've been taught to hate men so much. Uh, and men have been taught so much to put up with it, because they're horrible, evil, and doxing, and they deserve it for being patriarchal oppressors. Um, but yeah, any kind of abuse, you, you should not tolerate it, okay? If you're a man, and you got balls, and they're not in her purse, you get out. So, yeah, his girlfriend of 20 years hits him regularly. Shouldn't be regular. If it happens once, you leave. Anyway, before I get into this story, I'd like to ask those of you out there that like my content, appreciate the raw, red pill, in your face nature of it, to go check out my website, therealistphilosopher.com. That is therealistphilosopher.com. You'll find a lot of pages there about the kind of services I offer, what I do, my mission statement. You'll also find a lot of links in the menu at the top of the page, including my BitChute channel, all my social media platforms. So there's a lot of useful, interesting information there to check out. And if you really like what I do and why I do it, you might want to consider making a donation by clicking on that donate button at the top of the page. You can donate Bitcoin to my Bitcoin wallet address. You can donate via Cash App, which is a free anonymous app that allows you to send and receive funds for free and anonymously. And then there is my Patreon, which is a per piece platform. I make about eight pieces a month. One dollar donation would be eight bucks a month. 50 cent donation, four bucks a month, whatever you're comfortable donating. And you do get a lot of nice perks with those donations. So go check that out, therealistphilosopher.com, and maybe click on that donate button. I can really use your help, guys. So his girlfriend beats him up, and he sticks around and calls himself a man. A man is what he does, okay? He is what he does. And a man does not allow himself to be subjected to abuse, period. The moment that red flag pack pops up, the moment that chick or anybody puts their hand on you, the moment somebody insults you, abuses you verbally, physically, whatever, you leave, deny them your presence. So this guy starts by saying, hi, I read it. I'm hurting a lot right now. You know, <laughs> you got yourself to blame. Now, I'm not saying she's not to blame because, uh, hello, she's there. And you're there. <laughs> uh, she's there choosing to hit you. But guess what? You're there choosing to allow her to do so. And you're staying there. You're an active participant by not leaving. And unlike a child who has no choice and has to take the abuse, you don't. But you do. I am having a lot of difficulty because I have been with my girlfriend for two years. Mistake number one. She 20, you're 22. You got with her when she was 18 and you were 20. You don't have a girlfriend at 20. You're too young. And girls these days are super, super immature. It's not 1900 anymore. The girls are not growing up on the farm, hand washing the clothes, hand shucking the fucking corn, doing tons of physical labor all day taking care of their little fucking brothers and sisters and doing all this hard work that builds character and maturity. No! They're pampered! 
<laughs> they have no difficulties in life. No hurdles to overcome, no obstacles. They got everybody fucking holding them up on a fucking pedestal, giving them everything they fucking want. They literally have no character. They're little fucking children. Mentally, if not physically. You do not get with a broad this young. If you're going to have a relationship, let it wait until later on in life when you have done all your studying and become successful and you got moolah and then you got a lot more choices, okay? Instead of getting with some broad when you're younger, when your options are far more limited. So, yeah, and she's constantly hitting me over the tiniest things. <laughs> she's a baby. That's why. Just like a baby. That's what babies do. <laughs> Except she's much bigger, so she can inflict more harm than a little five-year-old whacking you on the leg because you didn't buy the kid the fucking fruit roll-up they wanted. <sighs> things even though she has said that she would try to stop. Okay, um... <laughs> I've heard this song and dance before. Uh, pal, she's not going to stop because she hasn't stopped. You know how you know that somebody stopped? They stop. <laughs> if they keep doing it, they haven't stopped. If they keep doing it and then they tell you they're going to try to stop, but they don't stop. I don't know what that means, by the way, try. What is that? <laughs> you either do it or you don't. Oh, you know, I'm going to try. You know what somebody means when they say they're going to try? They have no intention whatsoever of following through. Okay? Somebody who has an intention of following through and doing something, they say, I'm going to do it. They don't say, I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, man. So she started hitting me. Uh, yeah. Good Lord, pal. She, oh, wait a second. So uh, I think I missed something here. She started hitting me after I cheated on her in our relationship. Oh. I'm going to guess things were not uh, perfection. Uh, let me explain something to you, pal. She would have started hitting you anyway. It just might have taken a little longer, okay? Right, now she feels like she has some kind of excuse, reason, justification to do so, which she doesn't. doesn't matter. I, I don't care what you did. She has no right whatsoever to initiate violence or force against you. The only time that violence is allowed, force is allowed, is in self-defense. So cheating on her is attacking her physically? So she's allowed to use force against you? No. Stop making excuses for her, pal. Find your balls and get the fuck out. By the way, I'm not surprised you cheated on her. She sounds like a cunt! Uh, I did not go to anyone physically, but we have defined what I did as cheating. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the phone. What does that mean? You, I'm confused. We have defined... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean she is defined because she's the boss and you're a pussy little wimp mangina, okay? And you go along with whatever she says. She says that the uh, moon is green. Okay. We define the moon as being made of green cheese. No, she has, and you go along with it because you're a wimp. What does that mean? I do not... I did not go to anyone physically. You know, I, I'm going to guess what this means is some kind of, like, emotional cheating bullshit. So he's probably talking to some broad online. <laughs> And the girlfriend interpreted that to be cheating. Yeah, she interpreted it that way so she would have a reason and excuse to beat on you and get you in control under her thumb, as it were. That's the only reason people abuse other people. They feel like they're losing control. They abuse you to keep you under control. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's the only way they know how to keep somebody, is by controlling them. What they're telling you, by the way, when they abuse you, is that I have no positive aspects to myself i have no positive attributes i have no virtues the only way i can keep you here is to beat you down and exercise control over you so he goes on to say i feel like i deserve it because i did cheat on her no you didn't <laughs> you just said you didn't go to anybody physically what that's cheating you put your physical cock in a broad's physical pussy, and you bang the fuck out of her, and maybe you put it in her ass, too, and then she does a little sucky-sucky. That's cheating, pal. If there's no physicality involved, it ain't cheating. Women have created all these substratas of ideas about what is cheating so that they can have more reasons to bitch and moan and nag you because that's a form of abuse as well, and they want more hand, more control in the relationship. It's also some feminist clap-trap bullshit that was introduced by the left to create more schism, division between men and women. We got some more issues here that can gin up <laughs> agitation and friction between men and women. 
We'll call it emotional cheating. Oh, yeah, great. What a bunch of crap. Oh, well, you're not allowed to talk to other people. Well, she felt it was emotional cheating, so it's the equivalent of physical cheating. I bet she's one of these broads that think that words are violence as well and believes in microaggressions yet. Your, your girlfriend's a rabid feminist, feminazi leftist nutter. <laughs> I think that words and physical actions are equivalent. So she's a witch? She's a magic user? Uh, 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 uh. She's one of these uh, people that believes words are the equivalent of physical, objective reality? Oh, okay, so she's an occultist. <laughs> So interesting. So she believes in magic spells and all that, and that words can shape and make and affect reality. Oh, that, that's lovely. He goes on to say, however, with this said, she had also cheated on me earlier in the relationship. Oh, 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 oh really? Oh, so she actually cheated. Oh, no wonder she wants to equivocate. No wonder she wants to create an equivalency between what you did, which was not cheating, and what she did was actual cheating. By the way, by her own logic, don't you have the right to beat the shit out of her? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, is the feminist mantra. Yeah. So, and she only ever mentioned it to me after she found out about what I did. But you don't get to beat her up, but she can beat you up. <laughs> Even though what she did was worse. She also continues to cheat on me even now if I make her upset. Wow. So she's vindictive. She's immature. You, you need to get out, man. You're, you're going to be a future chalk outline if you don't watch yourself. This type of woman who does these kind of retributive actions to someone else who she actually started doing first, but she can't handle it being done to her, they're very reactionary people. And most people who are like this have never in their whole lives experienced any real consequences to their negative actions. You can tell that by the extremeness of the actions she's taking and the nature of those actions and where they're coming from and why she's doing it. So this is the kind of woman who could possibly kill you, pal. Oh, there'd be consequences, but, uh, you know, she'd only find that out after you did. And she threatens to send explicit pictures of herself to other people if I make her upset. Whoa. So she's willing to impact her own well-being to harm you. Oh my, this is some freaky, freaky, creepy shit. She has done this at least once and also messaged many guys saying that she would go on a date with them or even sleep with them. <laughs> her sense of continuity and stability in her life comes from her ability to control you. If she loses control of you, she would feel like she was losing control of her world, and then she would literally lose it and do any and everything she could to get that control back, including maybe, possibly, potentially, killing you. <laughs> oh, well, expecting reason and rationality from somebody this fucked up is uh, misguided. She constantly also uses the relationship as leverage. If I upset her in any way, it's, I'm going to break up with you over this, which is not going to happen, by the way. She also regularly threatens to destroy my personal belongings, including my car. Whoa. Well, it's just one step from that to killing you, to, to threats against your life, my friend. When we have gotten into breakup arguments, she has threatened to lie to the police about me raping her. Oh, she's so the sociopathic, man. Is she able to fool other people? I mean, are you aware that she's a nut job? Is she able to fool other people into thinking she's normal? Do you think she's normal? When I have literally never raped her. Oh, I believe you, pal. She's a wacko. She hits me constantly, and I know if I ever once retaliated and hit her back that she would call the police on me. Have you ever thought about filming this, of her attacking you, so that you can then go get a protective order? after you move out while she's at work or out or something, and then you don't tell her where you've gone, and then with that evidence, the film that you've taken of her abusing you, you can then get a protective order so that if she comes to your house, which you probably would, you could have her arrested and do something actionable against her. Have you thought about that? Wow, this guy's got such a victim mentality. He's not doing anything to fight back or get out of this situation. I'm smelling another abused man here who might have grown up in an abusive household with an abusive single mother. 
Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah. So he knows if he ever retaliated that she would call the police and have you locked up. I really don't know what to do here. I just told you. Because I honestly don't want to deal with this anymore. So, you can't call the police when she's abusing you because she'll just say you were the abuser. And because of the Duluth model, they'll automatically assume you're the bad guy. Maybe even if you have film footage because she'll just say, well, he hit me when the camera wasn't running. Uh, no, no, no. What you do is you film evidence. You take pictures of any bruises. You film her attacking you. And then when she's out one day and you know she's going to be out for long enough, you move your shit into storage. Uh, go stay in a hotel until you find a, an apartment if you want to get out really quick. Or if you want to plan and build up, you take your time, find another apartment. And when she's off doing whatever the fuck she does, whatever psycho sociopathic nut jobs like this, doing their free time to look like the rest of us, but they're really freaks, you move all your shit and she comes home to a half-empty house. And it's like, where the fuck is he? And then you follow a protective order using the evidence of the film footage you took with your phone or more likely a hidden camera because, you know, if you are trying to film her, she might become more aggressive and then try to kill you or might not do as much as you would like her to do to have enough evidence. So you buy one of those little cameras. Uh, they're on Amazon. You can buy them for 25, 30 bucks. They're activated. They're activated by motion. Some of them have infrared as well. They can see at night. You can plant them anywhere. Some of them have magnets on them. Some of the really good ones uh, have sound. You can put a 32 gigabyte, some of them 64, some 120 gigabyte SIM card in them. Uh, not a SIM card, SD card that has a lot of memory. And uh, they can hold a lot of footage as well as be connected to your Wi-Fi. And then the footage itself can be stored on the cloud. Uh, directly instead of on the device. So the device is only limited by the battery it has in it in regards to how much footage it can take. Get yourself something like that. You spend 100 bucks, you could get two or three of those cameras and set them up around the house. Film her abuse over a two to three week period or if you can't take it anymore, just get enough footage. Enough footage that would convince any reasonable person that she is an abuser. And then you get your protective order. I mean, there you go. There's what you do. But you don't stay with this person because this type of person will eventually kill you to maintain the control they have over you rather than have you break up with them, dump them, reject them. They couldn't handle that. Uh, anyway, yeah, you really don't know what to do because I honestly don't want to deal with this anymore. But I feel that if I leave, she'll literally try to destroy me and ruin my life. That's why you get evidence. That's why you buy those little cameras off Amazon. So you can't see them. You set them up around the house. Uh, you hide them. You can also buy things that have hidden cameras in them, clocks and such, little tchotchkes and shit, and you film the abuse. And then you have your evidence so that she can't ruin your life, can't destroy your life. She will physically hurt me, try to get me locked up for whatever reason she can, destroy all of my, all of my belongings and try to destroy my livelihood with it. I am losing my mind and starting therapy soon. You need to get out. You need to get out, and you, stop, and you need to stop making excuses for why you can't get out. That's a pussy move, okay? Real men don't do that. Real men, they come to a fucking conclusion, a solution, and they act on it. They don't pussyfoot around and vacillate on what maybe might, could possibly happen, and then they become paralyzed into inaction. No! I love how people want to take the easy way out all the time. Look, life is difficult, okay? And you got yourself into this situation by choosing this person, by getting yourself into a serious relationship. And I'm going to assume you're living together because Jesus Christ, in this situation, if you're not living with her, all you got to fucking do is change the locks. But clearly, the dummy that you are, you let a 20-year-old move in with you at your age of 22. That is retarded. That is ridiculous. You don't have a girlfriend when you're 22, let alone your girlfriend living with you. Are you out of your fucking mind? With as immature and dysfunctional as women are these days, and this one even more so because she's got no life experience, no seasoning to maybe lose some of these bad habits of hers. Although, you know, she's probably very good looking, so for this guy to put up with this shit, so she doesn't really have to. You know, and once she hits 30, eh, then she'll start to get clued in, and then she'll become an even bigger whore to get that validation and attention from men, 
And, you know, eventually she'll hit 40 and she'll become one of these rabid, nasty feminazis like that big red broad, angry and man-hating. She's already a man-hater. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't diddled by an uncle or her daddy or something, which directly contributed to her hatred of men. Yeah, she's definitely got uh, uh, issues, that's for sure, toward the male of the species. But stop. Stop this vacillation. Stop, stop this, this, this inaction. I told you what to do. You need to do it. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Is my advice right and correct? Should this guy plan his exit, get the evidence, set up cameras, catch her in the act again and again and again so that he can essentially file a protective order and have some kind of evidence of her abuse, which would also protect him in the long run because if he ends up missing, they'll know who to look at. Or am I way off base? Let me know in the comment section and please like and subscribe to my to my BitChute channel if you haven't already. And if you really like and appreciate the raw, red nature of my content, again, you can go to my website, therealistphilosopher.com, apply to all my social media, check me out, see what I'm about, and click on that donate button if you'd really like to support my work. I can really use your help, guys.